everybody. Um, welcome to Design Styles. I know I'm still probably finishing up on your um, test, but I wanted to do a little walkthrough for your Design Styles notes and assignment with me. Um, and then like the formative one that we're going to talk about a little bit later. So if you um, go into Tuesday, so this time I'm making it, and Design Test, and then the notes, and then the note sheet and assignment. So on here, um, if you click on the notes piece, um, it'll go through the different design notes. Like this one, the first one is Art Deco, and it's talking about like what are the like really big pieces about Art Deco design style. And we're talking about all the interior styles now, not the exterior. So they're a little bit different um, sometimes. Sometimes they're the same, but the highlights and what they, how they are, are a little bit different in the interior space. Um, so looking at this, and then if you hop on your assignment piece, if you see this first part, it's just the notes portion. And so you're going to just kind of copy and paste this over. Please make sure you make them smaller. Um, and then you're going to put the picture actually from the notes. Most of the time, I do not want you putting the pictures from the notes, but this, for this first two page portion, that is what I want you to do. Um, you're going to have practice finding your own pieces after that. And so then this one is your arts and crafts style. So if I go to the next slide, it says traditionally rich stained wood and with exposed joinery. Meaning like you can see the little like pieces poking out there, you can see how it joins. Um, strong lines, tailored edges, meaning everything's like really clean, um, lines, but it also has extra pieces to it. Um, craftsmanship is first, meaning they should be really well crafted. And then a little ornamentation after that. Um, and so then I take this information and I would swap it in here and then I would take and I would if there's an object versus a room take the room and paste the room into this part if there's two you could put more than one um, but that's up to you and then you just keep going down and I have them fully in order I think they are actually in order so you're going to do this is Asian style design style you click this information and then again um, try to do a room. I think part of it, this room is kind of a little more modern version. And when we look at this one, it's showing some of the older, like the older painted kind of furniture, the brightly colored accessory pieces that go with that. So you maybe would want to do more than just like one picture on that one. And then just keep going down. That's post though. We have all kinds um, of different styles that are in here. Um, so I'm hoping this helps. There's even way more styles than what I'm giving you. I'm just giving you like the biggest ones that we see most often, um, at least right now. Um, and I'm just going over a difference between modern and contemporary again, because I know those get confusing. Um, so I'm just having some understanding of that and what that looks like when you're looking at those. And then you're just kind of keep going down, 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 down. Um, online learning. Um, is a little is different, so you'll follow the other part that's on here. So we go down to this, and this is where you're going to be finding the styles and making sure that they're correct and then explaining how they fit it. Um, so this is where I would go, like if I did first, if I want to do, like I type in Art Deco, and you're choosing, you can choose, um, which ones? You're doing seven of them. Your eighth one is, um, your eighth one's going to be eclectic. Okay, so I'm looking at like the different pieces on here. So I could say, okay, um, make sure you're finding one that's are actually Art Deco, because reminder, a lot of times you'll search and it'll say like Art Deco somewhere just in that article, and then it'll show the picture of that, and that might not be the picture that's actually is Art Deco. Okay, to me, I would like this one. I could easily, I'm looking at it and you might have to look back. Like I know a little more. This metal right here, these like angles and all of that stuff is very Art Deco, including this artwork. Excuse me. Oops, wrong piece. So I could put this picture in. I copy that in. And then I have to, if it lets me. I don't know if it's thinking. Okay, maybe it just isn't looking with the thing, but I've got that in there. Excuse me, I think of, um, 
I put that in there, and then how I would describe it, I would put um, metal on furniture. Interesting, like um, interesting geometric designs. Okay, that would go with that picture. So I'm gonna see if it'll let me. easier to do. There we go. Okay, I have asymmetrical arrangements is good too, so I do that. Try to get at least three things. So, and if it helps you, I think sometimes it helps to do like different so I go with that. Okay, and then I need a third one and I could do something like that with artwork. Okay, so I'm hoping that makes sense. I'm going to take that off and then I would do another one. So you're finding two for each of the styles that you're selecting, and you're going to select seven. And like, there's way more than seven here, so you just kind of pick and choose a little bit. And then the last one is eclectic, so this means it's a combination of styles, and you need to tell me which styles they are. Okay? If you want to do them different, you can identify the style which styles here, and then explain how it, what fits those styles in the different pieces. But if I'm going back to my in here, I'm going to put eclectic, right design style, and then see what I get. Um, and again, some of them are not going to be that eclectic, or at least it won't be obvious, and it'll be hard to like point them out and picture it. Okay, so I would do a little search, and I'm going to be like, okay, I'm going to find one that has some two distinct styles that go kind of well together. Okay, so like this one is interesting. I'm gonna look at this a little bit more. Um, so like this one, I, it has kind of like a southwestern theme and the patterns, if you see that. Um, but then it has more of like, like um, I don't know. It's an interesting one, right? With uh, all kinds of different patterns, almost a little Moroccan pattern here. I have like some kind of like modern style and these jewels. Okay, so I could, I maybe do one that's a little bit easier for me to pull out and be more specific. So you can kind of see how I would do that um, with that one. Um, if I'm looking, um, sometimes you can do a search of ones that have stuff together and then you end up not having to do quite so much scrolling around a bunch there. Sometimes people label things just wild colors eclectic and it's not really eclectic other than maybe this color. Um, da, 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 da. So this one, with this one I can kind of see some different design styles with the furniture, but again the, what makes this to me look more eclectic is just, it's more just the, like the colors and then how they're kind of all over the place. So really like do some searching like this one, this one looks more eclectic. If I'm looking at this piece, okay. So I I have see how I have all this like more traditional but modern. I'm like kind of like mid-century modern kind of vibe in this. Um, but then this one's a little bit different in that pattern is not mid-century modern. It's maybe a little more modern. Then I have like this artwork is very like abstract art, which is really different. Um, so you can do something with that. Okay, so I'm hoping that's explaining it. I know it's a little hard when you're trying to like just, I'm trying to run maybe a search. I would scroll down and find some good ones that I can kind of see. Okay, like this one is looking at, um, see how, this I think is a little better actually. See how these chairs are very traditional chairs, but then the table is very modern. This wing chair is more traditional with a little modern influence. I'm getting some mid-century modern pieces, like this piece of furniture is mid-century modern with the geometric and the thing on here. Okay, so this is very clearly eclectic. Okay, that to me is the best one I found. And I would use that one and just describe it like I did. Okay, so that's how you do that. And then, so this is what I want you to get done to first, or for, um, like Wednesday into Thursday, like finishing it on Thursday. And then on Thursday, you also will have, um, it's not a formative assessment, 
um, it's a formative assessment, but you have this design style of formative assessment, and then you're going to, like, most of them are ma they're matching, but in different things. You, mine looks a little different because it's much weirder one. You would have these down below, and then you'll match them to it, but you can just, like, take and highlight, you'll just be matching these together with them. You can take this up to three times. Um, you can take it up to three times to get your best score. Also, so and that's your goal. Finish for Thursday is to finish this, and then complete this. And you can take it three times if you want. Okay. So that's all I have for you. Please let me know if you have any questions or contact me via email. Have a great week.